This is Sam Delaney in for Eddie today until seven o'clock. Thanks for joining me. Now, um, we're going to move away from the budget just briefly. There have been calls for a Labour councillor in North London to resign after he was convicted of serious drug offences. Ishmael Osamore who's the son of Edmonton MP Kate Osmore, admitted to possession with intent to supply Class A drugs. It's emerged that he he was already awaiting trial for the offence when the Labour Party selected him to run as one of their candidates in May's elections. We're joined now by our political reporter, Susanna Mendonca. Uh, Susanna, what more do we know about this story? Yeah, so what we understand is that this happened in September of last year and Ishmael Osamore was uh, at the Bestival Festival, as we understand, and uh, he uh, was arrested. He he admitted to uh, possession with intent to supply um, a number of, of drugs, Class A drugs, MDMA, cocaine, ketamine, a Class B drug, uh, and also um, he um, had a fourth charge of possession of cannabis. Now, he was in court a, 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 about a week and a bit ago now, so October the 19th, he was in court. It's only just emerged um, that uh, in court, he the judge basically said that he was lucky not to receive a four-year jail sentence. Instead, the judge handed down a two-year community order, so he has to do 200 hours of unpaid work uh, and had to pay some prosecution costs costs as well. Now we understand that the drugs, the value of the drugs was up to £2,500. Now as a result of this there's been a lot of people uh, locally, certainly the Liberal Democrat group and some other local people have been speaking to us today saying that they think that he should stand down as a councillor. He stood down as a cabinet member who's in the cabinet in in Harrogate. Um, So he stood down as a cabinet member but is not standing down as we understand as a councillor. It's it's, I suppose even more significant because you know he is the daughter of a shadow um, Secretary of State for International Development. Sorry, not the daughter, the son of the shadow secretary of state for international development, Kate Osmore, and so yeah. you know, um, I suppose all of that has kind of raised the profile. It's of crazy. The case. What have Labour said? Yep. So I've been speaking to the local Labour group today. We got um, a statement. Uh, well, we got a statement from Kate Osmore, uh, who's Ishmael's mother, saying that he admitted that what he did was wrong and apologised. He's committed to carrying on his work with vulnerable families. Uh, but one of the questions that a lot of people have been asking, the, those who've been calling for him to stand down as a councillor, is at what point did Labour know that he was facing this court case? Because um, obviously he was arrested in September um, of last year. Now the May local elections, when he got elected as as a candidate, you know that was in that was this year, and so people are asking, you know, did the Labour group know uh, what he was facing when they chose him as a Mm. candidate? Does that, you know, fit with their code of conduct? Now, I put these questions to the Labour group earlier. I got a statement back from Councillor Joseph Hedgefor, who's the council leader. Uh, And he he said in this statement that uh, Councillor Osmore only came to him on the 26th of October and explained what happened in September of last year. So saying that he only found out quite recently, he's obviously concerned about it. And he said that he's going, he's now, he now thinks that an investigation has to be carried out into these actions. And so he's asked Labour's uh, party chief whip to do so locally. So that's this, uh, that's how the state of play is now. Well, it's a remarkable story. Um, thank you ever so much for that detail, Susanna. Um, joining me now is Councillor Liz Morris, who's the leader of the Opposition Liberal Democrat group on Haringey Council. Hello, Liz. Uh, Hello. Um, Yes, hi. Thanks thanks for joining us. You're calling for Ishmael to stand down, is that right? Uh, That's right, yes. We we believe that Councillor Osamore needs to resign uh, as a Haringey Councillor. I mean, this is a very serious conviction of intent to supply a very significant amount uh, of Class A drugs and um, it is just not ethically right um, for him to continue as a councillor in Haringey. Labour say that they need to hold an an inquiry. Um, Do you think that's fair? Do you think that's necessary? Um, I think the right thing to do is for Councillor Osamore to resign and draw a line um, under all this. I mean, just to give you some context, um, Haringey's a borough which is experiencing a large increase in drugs-related crimes, and um, we can't have councillors who represent our borough and who are leaders in their community and who've been convicted of supplying large amounts of Class A drugs. So I think the seriousness of the conviction means that he has no option but to resign. Um, Why do you think Labour need... Why do you think Labour have taken this stance? Uh, I mean, obviously, Ishmael himself has not resigned, as you think he should. Labour seem to be being quite patient. And, and, you know, unless I've missed something here, 
he has been convicted of this crime. So there's not too much for them to actually investigate. Well, absolutely, which is why we're calling for him to, to resign um, immediately. Um, the judge and even his lawyer said he was extremely lucky, lucky not to get um, a custodial sentence, which I'm sure they um, probably expected. And, um, and also we have to remember that, you know, as a counsellor, he will be in contact with children and vulnerable young adults. And um, I think residents in Haringey have a right to, or rightly, um, will rightly be very concerned about this, as, a, as is the Lib Dem group. Yeah, remarkable story. Councillor Liz Morris, thank you so much for your time this afternoon. Um, Liz Morris there. Uh, Lib Dem uh, head of the head head of the Lib Dem group on Haringey Council, a council on which Ishmael Osmore uh, sits as a Labour representative, um, and he has admitted to possession with intent to supply Class A drugs. He's been convicted of serious drug offences. Um, he remains on the council though. Uh, he's yet to resign or to have been booted out by the Labour group who are investigating the whole situation further. I think that sounds like the stuff of a movie script. Uh, I'd love to know what you think. If you, if you live in Haringey and you're, you know, aware of this guy, you know, being employed on public money um, and having been convicted of serious drug offences, how, how do you feel about it? 800 2000 is the number. Um, the text is 81333, start your message with the word London. Drop me a tweet at Delaney Man or at BBC Radio London. Uh, I'm Sam Delaney. I'm in for Eddie Nesta today on Budget Day.